Pretty bitch music. Big mama, I'm a shit talker. I see him copy every look. I got a few daughters. Every check I deposit. Got Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I literally was not gonna give you guys a six to seventh week update. I was gonna wait until I was two months post-op, but shit has gotten real. You guys know shit has gotten real because I literally have no makeup on, no contacts. You're lucky I even have all 10 fingernails on because these popped off a couple times already. I'm not gonna say I had complications. I did get a rash on my boobs. You guys know that I've been complaining about my boobs being really itchy and I didn't know when I seen that it was getting from bad to worse I hit up Dr. K and I was like listen I know you told me to keep the surgical dressing on my boobs but they itch like hell and is it possible for me to take them off now it's been six weeks post-op and he was a-okay with removing it he said if it's giving me any type of issue just leave it if you can peel it off with no problem that's fine but if you can't then use some type of oil like coconut oil or like shea butter non-fragrance lotion or oil or anything like that to lather the surgical dressing and then leave it alone and then try again the next day and that's exactly what I did I removed everything and I thought I was good fast forward two days later oh my god guys literally two days later my boobs would not stop itching I was legit itching I'm sorry to say this but I've been just legit itching like a crackhead like in stores at home walking with my child walking my dogs I was legit itching I did not care who seen me if I needed to itch I had to itch right then and there it was just so bad I texted Dr. K and literally this is how you know you have a good surgeon he seen my text message and instantly as soon as my text message sent off I instantly seen the three dots pop up he told me exactly what I needed to do. He said use Aquaphor and if that didn't work out for me then I definitely need to go see a dermatologist within a week. It's been three days. My boobs are still itching but it's not like oh my god I have to itch right then and there. This is why I have a hoodie on. I have so many layers on because I'm trying not to itch as much. I'm not as irritated. They do itch from time to time but it's definitely calmed down for the past three days since the last time I spoke to Dr. K. Now that we got that stressful shit out the way. <laughs> I got cleared last week at six weeks post-op for working out. I have been itching to work out since two days post-op. If I could work out two days post-op, I would have been in the gym. I was so stressed about my boobs and all. I literally just started working out yesterday and it feels so good to be freaking back in my home gym like every single day because I have a home gym, I literally have just been staring and sulking and <laughs> I just wanted to work out so bad like these lunch lady arms that I have they gotta go this body is bomb these arms are not so <laughs> they gotta go and I've been eating like crazy and I just feel bad about all the stuff that I've been consuming because I'm not burning enough calories to even be eating this much thank God for Dr. K snatching this body because if it wasn't for him I would not be looking this good with the weight that I am now like all the junk that I've been eating it's not good for me it's really not don't be like me I got back into working out I got back into eating healthy literally just yesterday even though I was excited to work out don't <laughs> buy forever 21 sports bras and think after you get breast augmentation or a breast lift that is going to support your boobs because it does not at all those bras are just to look cute in and that is that let me repeat myself if you are going to work out after a breast augmentation or a breast lift and expect forever 21 bras to give you that support that it's supposed to give you mm -mm. it's not gonna give you that support at all I started jumping rope I'm just doing cardio for right now until I am able to lift those heavy weights next week at eight weeks post-op I just did 30 minutes of jumping rope and stuff like that that first leap over that jump rope oh <laughs> I wanted to cry like I was in so my boobs hurt so bad like just bouncing the way it did I was like oh no 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 
<laughs> if I could hold my boobs and jump like this and have my husband spin the rope for me, that's what I would have done. Because the bra that I had on, I'm gonna insert a clip for you guys to see exactly how much bounce I had in that bra. It it just wasn't for me. Like I texted my best friend instantly. I was all like, this was the worst idea I had, but I'm gonna push through. I'm gonna do this 30 minutes and duke it out because I need to work out, but Forever 21, count your fucking days. <laughs> count your days. Like, you guys said this was supposed to be a supportive bra, and it wasn't. It really is not for me. I will stick with my Nike. I will stick with my Under Armour, my Gymshark, my whatever, but Forever 21, mm -mm. I'll wear it just to go outside and walk around. I'm not running. I'm not jumping. I'm not doing any type of push-up. I'm not lifting with a Forever 21 bra on ever again. Not with these titties, not with these new boobs that I got. Mm -mm. In my opinion, what I'm gonna tell you ladies is just like you guys do the research for your surgeon, just like you put in the time and effort to make sure your post-op care is on point, you should definitely, 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 definitely make sure you have the right workout equipment meaning you should have the proper bra if you had a breast augmentation or a breast lift you should have the proper compression shorts workout pants to make sure you are comfortable going back to the gym because don't be like me and try to be cute and expect to not be in pain because that shit was terrible yesterday and i will not be trying to look cute and try to work out again i've had a great recovery literally i was just complaining to you ladies like oh like you guys are gonna stop watching my channel because I'm just so uneventful during my recovery process and all and look what happened to me I got a rash on my titties <laughs> But like I said, I'm going to keep it real with you guys no matter what. I am going to be completely upfront and honest with you ladies. If anybody has questions or anything of the sort, if I can help you in any way, please do not hesitate to hit me up. That's about it for my six to seven week update. Anything else arises, any issues, anything of the sort, any type of news that I have, I promise you guys I will keep you as updated as I can. If I don't keep you updated on YouTube, I definitely keep you guys updated on my surgery page. And if you have not been following that, definitely follow that right now. I'm going to leave it right down below. And I'm going to leave a link below in the description box. When it comes down to my videos, if you guys have any type of feedback, any type of critique, I have thick skin. Let me know what I can fix. If you guys want to see something that I haven't posted already and you would like to see something, let me know. I will definitely post it for you guys. I have no problem doing so. I did not forget about the Fashion Nova try on haul. I have all the clothes. I even hung them up and everything ready to try everything on for you guys. I did not expect for this rash breakout to happen. I will film and upload as soon as I can. The Tributal review will definitely record and push that out as well as soon as possible. I just have not been myself lately because of how itchy I am. Like I can't even concentrate. I am getting better. So hopefully I can record tomorrow and push that out for you guys. I am so sorry. But that is about it for today. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, why not? <laughs> Please go ahead and go subscribe. Click the subscribe button. If you have subscribed to my channel, thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.